And now we are starting the final stretch of Milky Way Wishes. Let's fly to Mekai. Mekai? Mekai. I cannot remember who we had last time. <laughs> but probably. Why, why am I shooting fighter? But yeah, I think I probably chose. Oh wait, maybe it's a fight. Maybe. But I'll just take hammer. As we go into doors. This planet's pretty metallic for some reason. I mean, what a metal planet tiny. Like, what the notes of being a planet, I wonder. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, sorry about all of those weird random cuts and all that horribleness of the last two episodes. Uh, first time of faulty errors during it recordings. And we need to go into this door. And they give us free candy! Why is the door floating in the dare aisle? Never know. But yeah, most of the places now only have actually two abilities. I checked the list, <laughs> which I should have done way earlier than now. But there's a door up here. And there's lots of gems. I wonder what it's going to give us. Go down elevator, don't go up. We get to yo-yo. Ah, oh, since I don't know what he was anyway. I just stick with yo-yo and Bugsy. Not sure why there's a yeah, empty shot. Oh right, okay. There it floats. It allows you to float. Who knew? I guess that's way quicker than taking the elevator back, which I thought you had to do. And there's a path of fire down there. Okay, maybe it's not there, but I remember something burning you in this area. And I also remember bird on. I, I thought it was always pink in this section. Oh well, changes, changes, changes. But there's another one of those switch runs, which I'm just going to cheese out and just use yo-yo. Because I can't be bothered. Because nobody really cares. I mean, honestly, no. Just because I can change abilities at any time as well. So it really doesn't make a difference. I mean, whether you've got beam, yo-yo, etc. I believe... The door that we need to go is this one, but of course I'm not going to do that. And basically each one of these sections will give you either a mini boss or some enemies or something to fight. <laughs> but I can't remember which one gives us an ability. Yep, there's one that gives us an ability. But I do know the exit one gives us oh, bonkers. Um, yeah, this is the exit I guess. <laughs> Cause it's bonkers. Why is Bugsy not doing anything? You're useless, Bugsy. You're useless, Bugsy. Yep, we did not want to go into the door yet because the other ability that we're gonna get is one of the best ones. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. I thought it was in the second section, so maybe the ability in the second And now we have Bully Bugsy. Instead of having Gangrene, he's now got Frostbite. should give us the ability. Otherwise it's the very top left one. No, not this one. Top four? Maybe? Let's see. I'm gonna face palm if it really was this one. Because honestly no. And... <sighs> I 
There we go. Okay, so Plasma was here all along. And... Yeah... You have to use it to hit those blocks, because I don't think any other ability can damage it. Like, go this far. Through wall. So now we've got Plasma ability, and now we can get out of here. It only took us like five minutes. Ah. Yep, we have, to, we have to fight Heavy Lobster again. And we can just repeatedly Plasma him to death. Rotations, rotations. Sadly, I cannot do the glitch in Japanese version. Where you can fully power up Plasma in a second. Because it didn't actually fix the glitch. Because if you hold up, left, and right at the same time, or press, no. It's just like if you press left and right, or up and down at the same time, it sort of thinks you're doing... Moving left and right repeatedly so many times in a second. And, yeah. That's what it does. In through the door. <laughs> yep, you can actually kill yourself if you're not paying attention. And there's crash enemies. So I believe we've only got two more abilities to go. I wanted to press start, not X. Yep, two abilities. Perfect. I know exactly where they are, so this should be a breeze. Unlike Spring Breeze. Actually, that was kind of crazy. Was it? I don't remember. I probably failed, etc. For a lot. Why am I using the analog stick? Why am I using the analog stick for this when I could easily just use the D-pad? It's so much easier for this SNES game. You don't really need to take that warp star, but I've always taken it. I guess it's the easy way to get past those electric blocks if you really don't feel up to it. Which I don't, never. Oh dear. I, oh wow, Gim. How awesome are you, Gim? You actually got into the trolley. You actually got into the trolley. But we all have to get out of the trolley for now. And I'll get Yo-Yo just because it's easy enough to hit this thing with it. And go into this door. Where we get... No, oh, we already are Yo-Yo. Mur to get Mur Kirby. Gim, why don't you just jump? Surely, if there's a trolley, you can make the AI jump into it. it. Makes no sense why it wouldn't be programmed to do that. And instead, make them program to go backwards. Gim probably could have used a health. But I'm not giving it to him because I kind of wanted to speed this up after all of that wasted time in Mekai. We're on a half moon by the way. Not a full moon. Not the... What was it? Uh, I can't remember that word. That was a funny word. Full moon, half moon, no moon. Don't know why I did it in that accent though. If that even comes out as an accent. Because... What? Well, I probably am super toned there, or whatever you would call it, because whatever my voice sounds like, it never sounds like the same in recordings. Never once have I thought that's what I sound like. And Gim just died. I pro oh. Okay, now I can't get that again. Because we are getting our final and last, well, last and final are the same thing. Find my ability here. In that door. That's just hanging out, you know, not doing anything. And you cannot guard here because we're too high. Come on, Smurr. Why am I, why should I dedicate this to my helpers? They're definitely not gonna help. And um, why did I choose fighter? Somebody that can't attack downwards. Wow, there's so much fail. I'm not recording fail, it's just me fail. Ouch. We get the amazing ninja ability. As our final ability, we have got now all 26. 25, 26? Well, there are six 
times three, there's 19. And all we need to do is exit this stage, which is really quick. I don't know if they just got lazy or something, but they've given so much help in this specific stage. With like two warp stars, and all we do is just exit the top. That's strange. <gasps> it's our favourite boss! Da -da 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 -da. Message boxes. We have to fight a witch. Oh. There we go. 62 damage points. I might just use hammer because it'll be a bit quicker. Witch is defeated. Yeah, let's use hammer. Mm, I've wasted all, enough time already. There we go. Evil knight appears. We used fire hammer. Can I get two off? No. 104 damage to the evil knight. Evil knight retreats. Oh dear. If only the fire hammer can pierce the fences. Why would an evil knight throw knives? That's a thief job. Hooray, we've defeated the evil knight and we have to fight the red dragon. No slime this time. Or puppet. Joker thing. That smurrer just pushed me into the red dragon. I take a timeout because I didn't do any damage. 15 damage points. Mirror, stop waving your wand around. Oh, wave your wand around now. You can collect the blast. Yay! Mirror's actually guarding, sort of, and I jump in there stupidly. That's just great. And I, oh, I somehow dodged that one. Finally. <laughs> By having the helper dead, it made it so much easier. Yeah, let's just let go. We have defeated all enemies. 235 experience points. 2 appetite points. 2 beauty points. 2 honesty points. 2 fever points. 2 ambition points. 3 friendship points. No! <laughs> no happy smile points. Again. Really? 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 I'm sad now. More sad than I could ever be. And all these star trails lead to Nova. The Comet Nova. And we get a little cutscene. All the power of the planets has summoned Nova. Ready! I'm gonna do it in that voice now. I will grant you one wish. Oh no, Marx, what are you doing? Well, I want to control Pop Star. Oh, Marx, how can you run in space? Three, two, one, blast off. And Nova's heading to the Pop Star, and Mr. Bright and Mr. Shane stop it. Yeah, you can actually just go into him when he overlaps you. But you really don't need to because you can just go into him, like the sun and moon stops him, so it's not like you're gonna die or anything. So we are in Nova. Oh, I need to pause this for a second. Two seconds. Oh, shooting. Right, the starship made from star power. Into the heart of Nova in order to stop Marx's evil plans to take over Dreamland. Yep, shooting many games. Pretty much every single Kirby game has a shooting stage unit. You know? I know a couple haven't. No, you can yeah, you, you run into walls that hurts. I know a couple that don't. Of course, the spin-off games don't. But I know I love shooting stages. Except that sometimes I'm not good at it, especially now that I'm recording. I don't have any attention whatsoever. Yes, I have no attention. Attention values or something. So this is what? A weird space clock thing looks like comet. From the inside, all spiky and pretty flat. 
Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going. I might try the trick. Aha, uh -huh, we have to fight the heart of Nova. Basically... Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. If you leave the first one, I forgot it was the first one, I thought it was like the second one or something. Oh wait, maybe we can leave that one. Ah, there we go. That might work. It will turn around eventually, basically. Oh wait, that doesn't work. No, it didn't work. I think if you leave the first one, it doesn't pick enough speed for it to turn around. And basically after that, if it doesn't turn around quick enough, it will allow you to destroy that one just there without it having to go all the way back around so we can actually get to it. And Nova's brain has burst or something. And we fly out on the warp star. I don't know what happened to our chariot. <laughs> yes, that was called the star chariot. And we have to fight. Ah, I better get. Let's have bonkers and let's have hammer ability. Because we have to fight Marx, the evil master mind behind all of this. Gah. He's got pretty damaging attacks and pretty annoying ones as well. Like dropping seeds from the sky, which turn to thorns. It's like his golden sun or something like that, and he's cast growth. And he comes out of the teleport or portal thing. In a way, Hammer would not be that great against him, I don't think. Because I can't do a lot of damage at long range, and I can't use the Fire Hammer anyway. So, there are some enemies that are better. Oh, oh. oops. I saw it got destroyed, so I didn't think it would actually build the damage me. It would last that long or something. And one more hit. And there we go, we have defeated Marks, the evil mastermind. Kind of, evil mastermind. And he falls into Nova. And we get all happy music, and Nova is destroyed. Nova was completely innocent in this whole thing. <laughs> and we just destroyed him. Oh well, the sun and moon are happy again. And it's the end of Milky Way Wishes. And there we have it, Kirby sleeping. After all this time, fighting for wars. <laughs> what wars? We finally get to rest. And here are, are the credits. I don't know if I'm gonna cut this or not, I might just leave it. Even though it's gonna go for my 20 minute rope. I'll do it for you guys, for this final part of this. And we have our director, Masahiro Sakurai. The most awesome guy ever. Because he created Kirby. And we have lots of programmers. And chief programmers. Kirby cannot program. He's got stubby hands. He can't press all the keys. Kirby has a paintbrush though. He can be the designer. His little berry. And his massive brush. That's only got the colour red. Oh no, we get to see the innards of Kirby. With CG. CG design? Hmm, not sure. Not sure if there was. Well, I guess maybe at the very, very start of the game, there was some CG. But other than that, I can't really think of much CG in this game. Jun Ishikawa, he does great music. <laughs> I don't know why a mapper has the Mito hat. And we get little girder building blocks. Of course, it's not just a Mito hat, it's just a general, general construction hat. Special thanks people who just get to sit back, drink some tea, and hobble about on a chair. Or a seat, at least. How far is the sky? 
Wouldn't it be great if we're actually a cameraman just bending backwards repeatedly and then at the very end of this he just falls over? <laughs> That'd be a great end to this. And lots of names. Advisor. Kensuke Tanabe. Oh, we're now in the sky. Project manager. Oh dear. Kirby's sweating. I guess they might have been behind <laughs> time, I guess. And the producer with his swanky chair and looking at the sunset with seagulls. Satoru Iwata and Shigeru Miyamoto. The Nintendo Club people. And Hiroshi Yamaguchi. Nintendo Limited. How Lim How Labs Inc. All rights belong to them. And this is such a great game. People should buy this game when the twelfth twentieth anniversary comes out. I know I've said this so many times, and it's probably nagging by now. But yeah. But there's more. What more could there be? Hmm. Oh, I need to press the A button. That would help. We get the arena. Basically, you fight all the bosses in the game with only five health ups. Yep. It's not the end yet. We shall be tackling the arena in the next episode. So, I'll see you guys later.